Hey, good morning everybody. This is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here in a uh, new construction home in Westlake. There was a house here before that the clients lived in. We took that house down and we're building a new house for them. And the foundation we're using on this is a peered foundation with a perimeter beam. And I wanted to show you the drilling rig that we're using. This rig here just drilled a 37 foot hole down to solid rock, actually four feet embedded into the rock. And, um, and then we've got a series of those holes going around the whole perimeter of this house. And let me show you the cage that we're using once we drop that, um, uh, once that hole is drilled. That cage right there is a rebar cage that gets actually dropped into that hole. You can see how long that is. And right after we drill a hole, we drop that cage in and we're, we're going to pour all the concrete today on the holes that we drilled today. So the idea on this house is that it's basically sitting on stilts. So these piers are going all the way down to the rock. We're bypassing all the bad soils that, uh, that are in the way. And the house is basically going to sit on rock for us. Pretty amazing foundation. So this, this type of foundation and the slab type foundation that we're going to show you in another video are really the two main types of foundations you see here in Central Texas. All right, everybody, we'll see you on the next slab in a minute here. Your homes. Welcome back to our pier and beam foundation job. Last time you saw us, we were drilling some 35 foot piers. In fact, we got them right here. This is a pier cap that we're pouring today, and the pier that goes down underneath that goes some of them between 32 up to 40 feet deep. They're real deep. Today we're pouring, we're pouring the perimeter uh, void form areas. We're on really bad clay here with a lot of soil movement up and down as the uh, uh, as the water uh, changes. Really, as as rain happens, that that expansive clay is subtract is contracting and expanding. So let me show you what we've got on this back porch. We're using void forms underneath the concrete. This is basically a, a cardboard carton. This has that black plastic you see on top there, and then our, um, our rebar cage is then spanning to the piers. So this is actually, in, in fact, a floating slab on the back. And then we've got a perimeter beam. If you look on the side here, we've got a perimeter beam on this job. And that perimeter beam also has a void form at the bottom. A little tough to tell now because we've poured it with concrete. But underneath that concrete is about a 10 inch deep void form. And there's also uh, corrugated plastic on both sides to try and keep water and uh, soil out of that uh, void form. So we're gonna pour that up to this level here. We've got our stone pocket on the back. And then next time we film this video over here, uh, we're actually gonna be pouring a slab in this crawl space and making this into a conditioned crawl space. So very exciting day today. Once we get this dripped, we'll come back and we'll show you what's next. All right, everybody, we're back. We poured this foundation and it's all fully stripped. What a beautiful foundation we've got here. So you can see these are our piers now in the center. Those go down somewhere between 30 and 40 feet, depending on, uh, on which pier it is. 
We've got this blue uh, plastic down. We've got a pretty good rain here, so it's a little wet in some spots. But that's our vapor barrier, and we're going to be pouring a concrete slab down here in this uh, in this crawl space. And then eventually you'll see us spray foam these inner walls. And then on the first floor on this is uh, all TGIs and LVLs that will be the first floor deck for the house. On this left-hand side, we've got a little bit of a grade change, and I wanted to show you what we did to waterproof this. On this left-hand side, you can see the final grade for the house. This is the uh, the brick ledge, or pardon me, the stone ledge on this house. So we'll have stone down to here. Our wall framing is going to sit here, and the final grade on the house will be just a few inches below that. We always want to see a little bit of space between the bottom of our stone and where the soil goes. We want to see any paths that termites are creating up there to make sure the house isn't getting termites uh, infesting in behind the walls. I want to show you what we did for waterproofing, too. We use a product called uh, HLM 5000. This is uh, by BASF, and this is this is basically a, a tar-based uh, waterproofing. And then on top of that, we've used a mirror drain product. This is a, uh, a plastic dimple mat. I don't know if you can zoom in and see that a little bit. It's a plastic dimple mat. This side goes up against the concrete foundation where the waterproofing is, and it has a filter fabric already applied to this. And this filter fabric allows any water to hit this and come through but stop any dirt that might get there. So this dimple mat is right in this location, and then we've backfilled that with a good drainable gravel here, and then there'll be a couple inches of soil on top of that. So water is going to hit that, and then below us here is a French drain. It's been covered, you can't see it now, but that French drain is going to move water on this side of the house, and we're going to daylight it at the front of the house where it's a little bit lower. So let's, uh, let's watch them pour this tomorrow, and then we'll wrap this series of videos up. Thanks for joining me. Here you see here the top of, this extends between 30 and 40 feet deep until we actually hit rock. And this has a huge rebar uh, cage in it and then it's filled with, uh, with concrete. And it's a little tough to tell, but they also have piers on the whole perimeter. And then this concrete uh, beam that you see across there actually stretches between piers. So we've got piers, those concrete beams extend to them. And then underneath that, that perimeter is what we call a carton form. So there's a big void underneath there, so that as that soil expands and contracts, it's not actually touching the beam. And then if you see, our, we've got a back porch going on over here. We've got a garage slab and a front porch slab. Again, those all sit on the piers with carton form, so that there's a void underneath them. And those are basically structural slabs that are sitting on the piers. So what we're doing with this house that really is the point of the video is we're doing a conditioned crawl space. So where I'm standing now in this space, this concrete slab you see here, this is basically just a, a flatwork slab. We use the 10 mil poly vapor barrier. We're in that vapor barrier up the walls. And you can see that vapor barrier is taped uh, and sealed real well to our, uh, to our piers here. And then this slab here is just a four inch thick slab so that we're creating in effect a short basement for this house. So uh, we'll come back on the next video. We're gonna go ahead and frame this floor over the next two days now. And then we're gonna spray foam the perimeter of the slab and in effect turn this into a short basement. This is what we call a conditioned crawl space. It's really the absolute best practice uh, that you can build for this hot, humid climate. So let's uh, come back on some.